Today I want to talk about getting to the dog park, why it's important to get to the dog park for you and your dog, and how to stay safe while you're in there. Hey guys, my name is Jay from Canine State of Mind, and we're here to bring you videos to help you have a better relationship with your dog through training, relationship building, socialization, and health and wellness. Getting to the dog park can be a struggle for some people. Some people just have a mental block where they can't get themselves to get through the gate with their dog because of all the commotion that's going on at the gate. At the gate, there's so much commotion. You're gonna hear barking, you're gonna hear growling. Your dog might be really, really excited and it might look like aggression. If you have a puppy, I recommend you get your puppy in there as soon as your vet says it's safe. I'm not going to go over at what age um, is safe to get your dog in there. Just go by what your vet says. But as soon as your vet says it's safe, take your dog there because your dog needs to learn the social skills necessary for them to be able to have a social life later on in life. So the key is is getting over the mental block of getting in the dog park if you have an older dog that's never been to the dog park. It's because our dogs are so under socialized in America. We don't socialize our dogs. So it's really important for a lot of reasons, but the two main reasons are your dog is not getting the physical exercise that they deserve and they're supposed to get. And number two, your dog's not getting biologically fulfilled. They're social animals, they're social beings. They're supposed to get social fulfillment. They're supposed to be around other dogs. They're supposed to have that social interaction with other dogs. So what you wanna do is you wanna be able to give them both of them things. You wanna be able to give them physical exercise and social stimulation. And the dog park is a great place for that. Now the dog park's not great, it's not, uh, the best place in the world. There are people that take their dogs there that shouldn't be there. There are things that happen on accident. A lot of bad things can happen at the dog park, but there's way more good at the dog park than there is bad. A lot of good things come from the dog park. Your dog gets so much energy out and they get the fulfillment of being able to interact with other dogs. So once they start playing, you're good to go, but you do want to monitor the energy level. To stay safe in the dog park, you want to make sure you're paying attention to your dog's energy. You want to make sure you're paying attention to the other dog's energy and body language. If you see another dog mounting a dog or your dog, you want to get your dog out of that situation. If you see the two dogs playing and there's just too much energy, and you'll know when there's too much energy, but it's just way too much at one time. There's too much noise and too much energy going on. Then you want to get your dog and stop them and just calm them down for a couple seconds. If your dog's playing the chase game where dogs chase each other, that's a great game to play because it gets out a lot of energy. But some dogs can become really, really uncomfortable with being chased by more than one dog. So if you, if you see that your dog's starting to feel uncomfortable, you just want to grab your dog, stop them, sit your dog down next to you, and just let your dog relax and unwind for a second until you let them go back to playing. Another thing you can do to distract them, other than calling them over or grabbing them or bringing them over, is throwing a ball. If your dog likes to chase a ball, you can quickly get their attention by grabbing a ball and just throwing it for them. And it'll just take their mind off of everything, it'll lower their energy level. That's the biggest thing, you want to pay attention to energy level. Energy level is everything. If the energy gets too high, then chances are there's going to be a dog fight or a scuffle. Probably not a dog fight, but most likely there will be a disagreement between two dogs, which sounds horrific. It sounds very, very bad. Even just them playing sounds bad, but if they get into a scuffle, it's going to sound really bad. And then beyond that, a dog can get hurt or a person can get hurt trying to break things up. So you, you definitely want to monitor the energy level. But socialization is essential for your new puppy, your new
new dog or your dog that you've had for a little while but has not been in contact with any other dogs. It's essential for their biological fulfillment and it's essential for their physical exercise. So if you can, get your dog to the dog park as soon as possible. If you leave any questions in the comments below, I'll answer every single one. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.